We're going to sync with Mayumi Matsushita. Hell Prepare yeah. The machine. Let's go. We're um, gonna sync, baby. Well, uh, what happened? The sync machine isn't operating to capacity. What the fuck? Uh, yesterday's sync, well, suffice to say, uh, Oda and Date were not too compatible. Oh. Compatible? I'll give you the big picture. I don't know. I don't to get To get this. the synchronization working properly, I had to push the machine pretty hard. Okay. And now, it's not responding. Oh, so we can't sync with her? How long will her? it take to fix? 16 hours. At least. You've oh, got God. eight. But that's impossible. So we can't sync it, huh? I hate when people say that. They're like, hey, like, how long will it take you? Oh, it'll take you, it'll take me this much time to fix. And it's like, oh, well, you've got half that time. It's just like, did you not just listen? It's like, it's literally a disregard to, like, what the fucking expert is saying. I can only do it in this many hours. I'm literally having someone go into someone else's mind. And you're saying, oh, to fix it, just do it at half the time that you originally predicted? Fuck you. Like... Maybe I'm just mad because I'm a worker and I have experienced times where, you know, uh, upper management doesn't understand why things take as long as they need to. But we need to, or this investigation is going nowhere. It's like boss has no idea how the sync machine works, but she's dictating how long it'll take to fix. Why can't he have another eight hours? There's no reason why he can't have another eight hours to work on this. We may be able to find some clues. Good idea. All right, let's go to the fucking diner. Let Boston Pewter know. Pewter, we're counting on you for those repairs. I'll be back in six hours. But you said eight. Please, you have to give me at least eight. That Pewter, always so humble. He'll have it done in six. Yeah, Pewter is just that kind of guy, you know? Asshole. Hey, this is a hostile work environment. Seriously, I feel bad for Pewter now, even though like he tried to kidnap uh, Iris in a different timeline. Like he's obviously not on our lie? side. She is probably protecting someone. But who? Surely you know by now. There is only one person Mayumi would want to protect Ota. that badly. Are, are we really thinking about it? Oda. It's Ota. It has to be. Does Mayumi think Ota is the killer? Last night, Ota left Matsushita Diner with Iris. Mayumi saw the whole thing. But Ota was stabbed in the stomach by the culprit. Does Mayumi not remember that? No, that isn't quite it. It is possible that she thinks Ota is responsible for everything. She thinks Ota stabbed himself? Yes. Why would he do that? Before I explain, I would like to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the possibility that Ota is the new Cyclops killer? Impossible. I don't what? think he's the new Cyclops killer. Um, but I think he might be responsible for putting Iris in the situation. The van stolen at Bamets. Bamisto. Yeah. Someone stole the, the van. van. was stolen while Iris was in the past. Someone seat. stole it. We know that whoever did it is the culprit we're looking for. There is a chance that Iris was not in the passenger seat. She could have been driving. How so? Iris could have taken the wheel herself and driven to the warehouse. But forensics only found Ota's fingerprints on the wheel. That can be explained. Really? It is possible that Iris covered her fingertips with her sleeves. Fair. I don't want to see these. These are dumb. Ota in the polar bear. Well, dreams don't really it matter. Ota and the polar bear. It doesn't that matter. Just a dream. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't necessarily reflect what happened in reality. Iris had her eye taken out. Iris had her left eye pulled out. Ota would never do that. Have you considered that she pulled it out herself? Damn. What? Or even asked Ota to do it. Perhaps she ordered him to. I don't understand. In why short, would she? Ota and Iris are accomplices. But this why? Is all a, performance. a performance? Iris drove the Matsushita's van. Ota drove the station wagon. They went to the warehouse separately. Then they prepared the live stream. Iris anesthetized her left eye and removed it. 
Either that, or she asked Ota to extract it. After that, Iris took her position on the table, and Ota donned the polar bear costume and started the song. Consider this. In the stream, Ota and the polar yeah. bear were never on screen at the same time. True. That means Ota went off camera, took off the costume. Yeah, we need that. We knew that was a, a potential option, but... Perhaps Mayumi witnessed the entire event. It is also possible that Mayumi knew what the two were up to. So she lied to protect Ota. Yes, but this is only a theory. A game theory. Why would they do that? For views? Consider the possibility that Iris killed Shoko and Renji. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Then, this whole thing was to get her off the suspects list. That's why she pulled out her eye and had Ota stab himself. It makes it look like there's another criminal involved. I will repeat myself in saying that this is only a theory. It is one of many possibilities. It's possible, but I don't think it's very likely. They wouldn't go that far just to avoid suspicion. Yeah, I don't know. Date, you must consider the mental state of the serial killer. Shoko and Renju were both exposed and slain. And they both had their left eye removed while they were still alive. Whoever our killer is, it is clear that they are sociopathic or even psychotic. True. You can't rule anything out. Okay. See ya. It's a fair point. It's a fair point. Ota, why are you... Why did you arrest Mom? You said you were gonna clear her! She why? confessed to the crime. What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> Bro, do you know that she confessed? Did someone tell you? Killer. Easy yeah. kid. You're gonna open up your stitches. <laughs> you worried about Mayumi? Of course I am. That's my mom. What son wouldn't be worried about his mom? Fair. You worried about Iris? So worried that my stomach is in knots. The surgery was successful, but they told me she isn't out of the ICU yet. Why are you here? When I was in the hospital, the police came to me. They told me that my mom confessed. Okay, so they did tell you that. I couldn't believe it, so I went to the police station. But because she was under investigation, they wouldn't let me see her. After that, I didn't feel like going back to the hospital. That's Fair. why I'm here. It's not like Mayumi is under arrest. It's you just... asked me why your mom was arrested earlier, but she isn't under arrest. What? I spoke with her as part of my investigation, yes, but as a source of valuable information, not as a suspect. Mayumi confessed, but it's highly likely that she's lying, so we haven't issued a warrant for her arrest. That's what I've been saying! Mom didn't do it, she's innocent! Well, is Iris the criminal? Word is going around. Maybe Iris was the one who killed Shoko and Renju. And you and her planned this warehouse incident to get her off our suspects list. Way. Tessa had her eye. She could have pulled it out herself or asked you to do it. You're kidding me, right? Do you really think I would do that? You're her thrall, aren't you? I was fighting for my life against the criminal. That wasn't caught on camera, though. Neither was the part where you got stabbed. You're saying that I stabbed myself? It wouldn't be the first time you fake something, would it, Ota? You. I mean. It's true. Did you stage the warehouse incident? I'm telling you, I didn't! Then why is Mayumi Can protecting you? the body? The thermal? Mom is protecting me? 
Your mother is stubborn. She's lying to us because she's protecting someone. The only person I can think of would be you. Why? Apparently she thinks that you're the criminal. Why would she think that? Your guess is as good as mine. Got any ideas? Maybe because of her condition, Mom has... dementia. Maybe her memory is just mixed up. About Naomi's dementia. Everything is my fault. It's because of me that Mom is... I know how it looks now, but back in the day, the diner was doing pretty good. You know Bloom Park is close by here, right? People who visited yep. the park would stop here a lot. We heard that. But ever since the explosion eight years ago... <laughs> the chemical plant accident? Yeah. We're just barely outside of the restricted area. Because Bloom Park closed, the number of customers dropped by a lot. The diner didn't last much longer. When this place closed, <laughs> the dad, dad started working at a Chinese restaurant chain during the day. And he was a security guard and traffic cop at night. Mom worked as a janitor. They were both working hard and barely got any sleep. And you? I was just a high school student at the time. I was... Such a dumbass. I thought it was totally normal to have both parents working, so I didn't even get a part-time job. It's not normal to have both parents and they working. they bought me a PC. Japan's fucking wild. Idol concert tickets. Oh. I had it good. But we were drowning in debt. Jeez. Debt? And there's a loan on the house and the diner. Mom and Dad didn't let this place go. There are too many memories here to give it up. So they slaved day and night to keep it open. It worked and worked and worked. Thanks to them, I was even able to go to a good university, but right after I started, Dad How old is passed he? away. <laughs> How old's Ulta? He's 24! No, wait, hold on. But, but isn't Iris like, set, like 18? Sock puppeting. <laughs> I like that the scale. He likes chocolate, cool. Um, back. No, no, no. I mean, like, back, back. Iris. Yeah. Oh my god, he's six years older than Iris. I, I thought... Shit. I... She's five, that's funny. Um... I thought he was at like younger than a set or maybe like the same age something like that I didn't think he was actually older holy shit well that's uh interesting <laughs> when he said university it kind of fucked he me had a up heart man attack from overwork uh, but even then I didn't get it you know I didn't appreciate how hard they worked for me even when I wasn't taking college seriously and getting bad grades my mom didn't say a thing. She just smiled and told me that it was okay, even when I told her I was going to drop out. Oh, God, this is... Mom, I'm thinking of dropping out of college. What? Why do you want to do that, Ota? I decided that I'm going to become a writer. Wow, a writer. Well, that's a good goal to have. But you really should finish college. You work so hard to get in. <sighs> you don't understand, Mom. A writer has to put all of their time into their creativity. I won't have time to go to classes. Plus, I'm friends with the editor of a publishing company. I'm definitely going to have my first book published. Is that right? Well, Ota, if you say so. I won't stop you. Do what makes you happy. Jeez. You'll turn out just fine. I know you can do it. This makes me feel bad, like... And no matter what happens, Mom will always be on your I gotta side. gotta call my okay? parents, man. Forever and ever. I mean, I saw my, my mom, like... Always you, Ota. Last week. Mm. But, you know. Well, at least I... I would have seen... My dad as well, but he was golfing with friends. What about the editor thing, right? Yeah. But like just seeing how guess. like much they sacrificed. It was really just a few texts back and forth. But I was thrilled. Yeah, my parents did a lot for me. I thought I could make it as a writer because of that. But it's impossible. 
I know there's no way I can be a writer. I've never even finished writing a novel. Not even once. I always give up after the first 5,000 words. To even apply for the amateurs contest, you have to submit 10 times that. But mom, she still, she kept supporting me. When did Mayumi's illness start? Not long after I quit college, mom was always smiling at me. But I think she was starting to slip mentally. One day. Oh, what's wrong, Ota? Do you have the day off from school? Oh. Are you being sarcastic? Oh, right. You don't attend anymore. Oopsie, I totally forgot. How can you forget your own son's career choice? Sorry, sorry. Anyway, are you hungry? You haven't eaten anything since this morning, have you? Are you kidding? Uh... What? I ate breakfast and lunch already. Oh, did you? Why is he so angry? Uh, by the way, Ota, what's living at the dorms like? Oh, no. Why are you making fun of me? I'm not teasing you, honey. Don't fuck with me! God. I mean, think about it. He's 24 now. Maybe that was, he was like 23, 22, whatever. I forget if exactly if he said it, how long ago that was, but... <sighs> Yikes. It's kind of hard to process that kind of shit when you're that young. Listen to the rest of the story. Mom got sick because I'm such a piece of shit. I was only thinking about myself. I didn't take care of her. I was so stupid, I didn't realize she was sick. I thought she was messing with me. I was so cruel to her for no reason. And she got worse and worse. Um... What about the picture? What's that picture? It's a family picture. I'll just turn the photo frame to just me so I can see it. Looking at this photo reminds me one time when I was a kid, I said something really bad to mom and dad. And they scolded me for it, and it's not like it was an apology or anything. But dad and I gave her a Mother's Day gift. My mom was so happy that she cried. That's what this photo is from. Why did it turn out like this? I'm such a bad son. Hey, Iba. What is it? I don't like Ota one bit, but I can't imagine that this guy's the criminal. Why is that? Hearing his story made me think that... He's not such a bad guy. Your presumption is illogical. Human beings are illogical. We're not like you AI. We can't be logical all the time. But we make up for it in one very important way. What is that? Intuition. Do you find that useful? At times. Hmm. Iba, let's go back to the cold storage warehouse. We might be missing something. <sighs> Understood. Alright, let's see. Alright, see ya, dude. Cold storage. What else could be there? Date, weren't you going to check the warehouse? I was, but a thought occurred to me. Police officer says he doesn't have any new information. Iba, who drove the van here? There are two possibilities, either Iris or the criminal who kidnapped Iris. And Mayumi? Considering the time that she purchased the chocolate, that would be almost impossible. The van was hijacked from the Famisto parking lot at 10.32 p.m. At that time, Mayumi was in the 812 convenience store more than 100 yards away. Iba. Are you sure that Ota took this car? As I've already explained, the security cameras at the Famisto parking lot saw the entire incident clearly. So it was definitely Ota who drove it here. Why are you stating the obvious? We found the chocolate Mayumi bought on the floor of the cold storage warehouse. But that doesn't prove she was actually at the scene. If she was, how did she get here? Yeah, that actually is a good question. She wasn't in the van or the station wagon. Of course. 
A different car. I will search for all vehicles that were in this area from Sunday night to Monday morning. I would connect to the end system server and begin her research. She got her results in no time. Found one hit. A taxi. Where is that taxi now? It is parked in Lemniscate's parking lot. Lemniscate? Why? Unknown. But we should speak with the driver immediately. Alright. Let's go to Lemniscate then. What the fuck is going on? Hey, got a minute? Hmm, are you talking to moi? <laughs> moi? Date, now is not the time to be distracted by this old man's diction. Mind if I ask you what you're doing here? Look at him. Moi? I am but a humble taxi cab driver. There we go. I'm with the police. I have some questions for you. Where are you from? I was born in Kawago, Saitama. And why do you talk like that? I don't know what you mean. I've <laughs> spoken this way all my life. My parents speak with the same vernacular. What are you doing here? I have just finished conveying my client from Tameke Sano's studio. I was what? informed that the visit here would be brief, and thus I have decided to wait in this lobby. About my Yumi. Before I arrived at Lemnus, getting a picture of my Yumi from Abyss, I showed it to the driver. Did you drive this passenger on Sunday night? Ooh, I did indeed. I remember her well. The old hag. Old hag. <laughs> I took her on a tour of the streets of Tokyo. Our ultimate destination was the warehouse district in Ariake. Why didn't you report this to the police? Report it? You don't know about the incident at the cold storage warehouse? It was all over the news. No, I'm afraid not. Newspapers and television news programs have never been much of an interest to moi. So annoying. Describe what happened with Mayumi. Hmm. I recall it was around 10 in the evening. Uh -huh. Near the Kabasaki District, an unassuming restaurant named Matsushita Diner. That's where I picked up the old hat. So she went back to Matsushita Diner? And as soon as she stepped foot in my conveyance, she was already barking orders at me. Follow that van, hurry! I must admit, I found it rather exciting, just like an old chase film. So she I, went back to Matsushita Diner and not... paid up front. We pursued the van for roughly half an hour. Suddenly, the van came to a halt at a convenience store. The Famisto along Koshu, right? Precisely right. I am surprised you know that. In any case, I knew that the jig would be up if we were seen following the van. Oh, now so I, I get I decided it. to drive past it. Sorry, I got confused. I thought, I thought... Wait, no, 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 because... Wait, because... Wait, I'm very confused now because my understanding was that Iris and Ota took the co like the, the van or whatever to to go and Mayumi was the one who took the station wagon to that fucking like you know that parking lot or whatever and then when Mayumi was inside buying the chocolate o like you know someone stole the van with um, Iris in it, and then Ota stole the station wagon, and then Mayumi had to grab. A... Am I confusing something? I don't know. No, maybe I'm confusing stuff. I don't know. I'm very confused. Let's just keep going. I parked at the 8th store, but 100 yards from there, while waiting for the object of our pursuit to make its next move. The old hag suddenly spoke up. I have to buy something, she declared, then made her way into the 8th. This must be when Mayumi bought the Odoroki Man chocolate. Why did she have to buy it, though? A few minutes later, the old hag finished making her purchases and walked out. And then, at that very moment, I witnessed the van jet off at great speed down Koshu. I hurried the old hag inside my vehicle, then resumed the chase. We followed them for roughly half an hour more. I see. If the driver's story is correct, Mayumi did not know that Oto was left behind the Famisto. Mayumi thought Oto was in the van the whole time. That's the story. 
We then arrived at a splendid manor. The van entered the premises through the front gate and disappeared from view. We, of course, could not follow, so we waited outside. I estimate another ten... Wait, so did... Is the station wagon not owned by anyone from these... This cast is just a random station wagon? Maybe that is the case. Minutes passed. The front gate opened once again, and the van drove out, and we pursued. But 30 minutes later, our pursuit was foiled again. What happened? The van drove into the restricted Kawasaki district. The old hag, of course, demanded that I follow. But I was not about to risk my license and livelihood. Instead, I parked on the road and waited for the van to drive back the way it came. Ah, but of course, we knew it might not take the same road back. In fact, we were not even sure the van would be coming back at all. But the old hag was not keen on giving up, so we began our stakeout. Interesting. So she probably went to the power plant, but... About 45 minutes later, the date had changed at this point. It was 12.25 a.m. on Monday. How do you remember the time so well? Well, you see, I always keep my radio dial on the same station. I remember precisely which programs were playing during this endeavor. Thus, I can approximate the time. I see. Please continue. At 12.25 a.m., the old hag's tenacious gamble paid dividends. The van returned down the same street. And thus, we again made pursuit. I kept considerable distance. We had come so far. I did not want to get caught now. But my caution backfired. I lost sight of the van in the RARK warehouses. Without so much as a thank you, the old hag popped open the door and took off toward the warehouses. I waited for some time, but the old hag did not return. The goose was cooked at this point, so I made the decision to return home. I am glad I had the foresight to ask for payment in advance. Yeah, good call. Well, the receptionist can talk. Ah, uh, damn it. I have one more question. I follow your story. I have one more question. Where is this manor the van stopped at? Oh, every taxi driver in the city knows that residence. Is it, so? it is the personal home of Congressman yeah. So Sejima. Sejima? Why did the van go to So's house? Good fucking question. We need to speak with him immediately. Agreed. Let's move. Alright, so... He's just like, why the fuck are you in my backyard again? There's no one here. The backyard again! I don't see So or his bodyguards. I do not detect them either. Let's go inside. Oh, we're just gonna top on inside? Alright, shit. Why don't we just use x-ray vision to see through the house? Hey, Aiba. Can we do that? Do you smell something know, funny? Not. You are aware that I do not possess the sense of smell, correct? Oh, right. There's something strange about this face. Ugh. What is it? No. This is definitely where the smell is coming from. Is there something inside? Maybe, but the opening is covered by a metal plate. The lid is fixed with a bolt. It will not open easily. Yeah. Then, as is standard procedure... X-ray. Oh what the? my god. Dante, destroy the base! Got it! Whose body is that? Sojima? They fucking murked my boy Sosajima too? I mean, he's not my boy, but like... That is the head of Sosajima. Left eye is hollowed out. This is Body. most likely a crime committed by the new Cyclops killer. Body. Cut into pieces. Face shards, fragments. Walls. Oh. What the 
fuck, dude. Chair. Oh, Abby. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Okay. Anything else? What table? What else? Do you have an estimated time of death? Today, sometime between 11 a.m. and noon. Damn. That's about when I was talking to Ota at Matsushita Diner. At that time, Mayumi was in police custody and Iris was in the ICU of Central Hospital. So then... They have not moved. That means Ota, Mayumi, and Iris couldn't possibly have committed the crime. Assuming that this is the work of a single killer, those three can be eliminated from the list of suspects. Ota, Mayumi, and Iris are not the new Cyclops killer. Right. Jesus Christ. By the way, why is there no one in the mansion? No bodyguards, no housekeepers. I do not know. Does So have family? So Sejima's wife died in labor 30 years ago, giving birth to their son. Their Who's son their son? Is currently living abroad. Oh. So lived here alone? Do you find that suspicious? No, just... Date, a call from Pewter. Connect me. Date, the sick machine is up and running. You can sync with Mayumi now. Oh, thanks, Pewter. But there are more pressing matters now. Did something happen? Yeah. I found So Sejima's body, but the left eye hollowed out. What? I'm at the Sejima household. Send the investigation team over. Why so? I can answer your Everyone's questions dying. when I get back to Abyss. Got it. Date, what is your plan? Wait until crime scene investigation arrives? No. There's something I need to do. If that taxi driver was telling the truth, Naomi was at the warehouse yesterday. And we know the chocolate we found at this scene was hers. Maybe she saw something. Maybe she knows something we don't. Some kind of clue or information about the culprit. Then... Yeah. We're gonna sync with Mayumi. Okay, good. Doesn't profile. matter. The sink is what's important. If we sink into Mayumi's brain, that might help us find the real culprit. I understand. Are you ready? Yeah. Then let's begin. Sorry, my chair was down too low. Where am I? Where? Where is this? Oh, silly me! This is my house! Huh? I... What happened to me? This is Matsushita Diner, though it looks... odd. Likely an effect of the dementia. Then we need to help remind her. Do you think such a thing can be done? This diner means everything to Mayumi. If we do what we did last time, and reproduce the actions from Mayumi's memories, we could help her remember everything. Is this what you call your intuition? Told you it was useful. Well, if we must... Alright. Somnium scan! Let's see, what do we need to do? Mental lock one. Mental lock two. Three. Four. Five. Oh shit. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, it was either six. We produced Mayumi's past actions to invoke her lost memories. Okay. Swinging door, calendar. A swinging 
main door that leads to. Ota, come over here. Ota, come over here. Ota, Ota, a girly magazine came in the mail. Is this for Ota or for Dad? Well, this is awkward. I tried. Let's investigate some. Okay, that was a waste. Oh, sliding door. Agent Date. The sliding got door at the entrance. Um, it's welcome. Welcome, come on in. Why did you say it like that? Oh, they're not accustomed. God damn it. The sliding door at the entrance. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Ota. You're late today. I'm home. Are you not hungry? Today's dinner is on the rice. Your favorite dad isn't back yet, but you can start eating. Again? I'm okay. I ate already. But... I'm fine. Uh, Ota, wait! Ota? Uh-oh. Maybe this is one of the memories she forgot. It must be important to her, though. <coughs> it looks like... It doesn't matter if it's sad. It's still important. Can we... Hold on. What if I, um... Yeah, let's just restart the Somnium bullshit. Blah, 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 blah. Because now we, like, wasted so much time. Sliding door. The sliding. All the back. Agent Date, you've got five minutes. The air post. Well, he yeah. is working here. But aren't there other things to investigate? You don't want to go to the kitchen? I am not good with wet areas. You know, when you're in my eye socket, you're always moist. Uh, I am not. Isn't the inside of my eye socket pretty moist? It is not! Stop saying that! Huh? Um. A swinging door. It's the phone. Roger. Oh, the husband? My husband. Yes, Matsushita Diner. Yes. Well, yes. Yes. What? My, my husband! Why? Oh, no. How could this happen? Mr. Matsushita's death. The diner has changed again. However... These memories aren't all happy, but they are all significant. If this continues, will it not have a negative effect on Mayumi? Maybe. But we have to see this through. We have to. Understood. Congrats. Cake. Yeah. A delicious. I wonder who it's for. Congrats, Ota. Let's push your face in it. Congratulations, Ota. I'm home. Ota! Congratulations on getting into the university, son! Yeah, it's going back in Congratulations. time. Congratulations! Hooray! Congrats! Damn, I feel bad for fucking this whole family. 
This is just awful. Like, it, it makes me feel sad. Hooray! Hooray! I even feel sad for, like, this fucking crazy dude. Back in time. Alright, so what happened before that, then? Ota was quite the spoiled child, wasn't he? He definitely had a lot of growing up to do. But that's what makes him so important to Mayumi. I see. For Ota's dream. Envelope. Oh, no. I think the envelope is the one. Let's go for the envelope. It's an envelope. Some kind of oh, that, that. This is a bank statement. The Matsushita family's loan. Let's burn it and throw it away. Let's forget about it. Let's do our best. Let's do our best. <sighs> we have to keep supporting Ota. Work harder for Ota's dream. We reproduced another painful memory. No. Are you certain? Mayumi was under a heavy burden of debt and stress running the diner. That's true. But sometimes hardship is worth it. Is that so? Sorry. You have three minutes, Dante. You post autograph. The Odoroki Man sticker? Is it that? It's a sticker from a child. Welcome home! Did you get it for me? It? This is... Ota when he was small? He said they rice chocolate. Chocolate? Do you mean chocolate? Yeah, Odoroki Man! You love Remember? Odoroki Man chocolate. Oh, that! Yes! Of course I bought it! Look, the Momonoki Man chocolate that you like! Momonoki Man! Here you go! Oh, That's no. not it. Oh, honey, I thought you liked the Momonoki Man chocolate. No, I told you. It's Odoroki Man. Oh, sorry. Your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. You have a little tantrum. I'm glad I didn't have too many tantrums when I was young. You're not just a dummy, you're a super dummy idiot! Aw, uh, that's oh, me. Well, you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry. Don't say I'm that. A big dummy. I don't I'll like find that. you a real Momonoki man soon. Uh, Stupid! It's not Momonoki man, it's Odoroki man! I hate this! I hate you, Mom! What? I can't believe I feel so bad for Mayumi. I never thought go? I would feel this bad. This is like hard. <laughs> Please, come out from hiding, Ota. Ota, I'm sorry. I don't like no, this, don't actually. Make any mistakes anymore, Ota. Ota, come back. This Ota! isn't funny. This isn't fun. <laughs> this isn't a good time. Can we help her, please? Please, please, can we help her? Ota? Takaro, don't leave me! Don't leave me alone! Oh my god. I, I, I am sorry, Ota! Ota! Fuck, dude. Takaro! I can't do this on my own. Don't leave me!
This is awful. So that's what happened. Date, look at what you've done. Yeah, seriously, Date. If Mayumi wakes up after all this trauma... I know it's risky, but we're here for a reason. What are you planning? We have to keep going. Just a little more to awaken her past. But... Why do we she go so her far into her this past? Much, there has to be something. There has to be a precious memory hidden deep within. Is that... your intuition? What if your intuition is wrong? We're just putting... We're like, making this... Mom suffer. I don't like this. I will never forget the wall clock. A wall clock? Turn back time. Welcome home! Did you get it for me? We've gone back in time. Time is a precious resource, Date. Don't waste it. Stop nagging me. I'll figure it out. Holy shit. It's a sticker from... Welcome home! No, I don't want to do any of this. Uh... Don't be selfish. All right, we gotta hope don't be selfish is the right choice here, because I'm gonna... Don't be selfish. But you're mean. You promised. You promised. I'm dead. Date, we can't- No, we're not done yet. Date! But if we go forward in time, that might be the answer we need. Because turning back time just put us back to where we were before. And I don't think anything else really would have... Let's just try this at first. If not, I'll retry and go back to the um, back in time again. I thought stopping Ota from being selfish would help. Oh, what the fuck? Sweetie! Mom! I... Uh, I... Oh, this is the Mother's Day gift, yeah. Huh. We know we can be a hassle sometimes, so... Huh. Ota! Yeah. Yeah, we are a family. 
We can do anything. Yes. Yeah. Looks like it's okay to go back now. Yes. I agree. By the way, Dante. Hmm? I admit, it is useful every now and then. What is? Your intuition. But did we learn anything from all of this? I don't know. I don't think we've like really learned anything, did we? I don't feel like we learned anything here. We have nothing actually useful for the case, right? Like we just saw their story that we've heard before. Soyo Kuzai. Okay, the hospital. Ota, I'm so sorry for worrying you. What do you mean? Your mother retracted her confession. Oh, I'm so glad. Yes, yes. But mom, why did you think I did it? About that. I explained to Ota. On Sunday night, Mayumi was following the van driven by Ota in a taxi. But when the van was hijacked in the... Family Stoke parking lot. Miami was at another convenience store nearby buying some chocolate. Because of that, she didn't see what happened. That's why Mayumi thought Ota was still in the van when it drove away. So she kept following it. The van drove all over Tokyo and eventually wound up in the warehouse district near the docks. Mayumi got out of the taxi and followed the van on foot. The van was later found at the Okiara Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. Mayumi walked into the warehouse and discovered the grisly scene. Polar bear plucking out Iris's left eye? I was so terribly frightened. I panicked and ran. I'm sure that's when I dropped the chocolate. And I, I ran love that, I love that she brought the chocolate as fast as I could. I just kept running and running, but while I was running, I had a thought. Maybe that polar bear was Ota, because at the time, I thought Ota was the one driving the van. If Ota brought Iris to the warehouse, then Ota must have been the one in the suit. That's what I was thinking anyway. So that's why. I'm so sorry that Mom doubted you, Ota. No, no, I understand. It's my fault for making you worry. Ota. But there's one thing I don't get. Why did you buy that chocolate when you were following me? Oh, because... You, want, she wanted you to liked Otoroki Man chocolate when you were young, right, Ota? Yeah. I was like the number one or two collector of the stickers in my elementary school class. I stuck some of my duplicates all around the diner, too. You and Mayumi have strong memories of that chocolate, right? Yeah, but I guess they're not all sweet memories. They're like chocolate, you know? Bittersweet. Makes my heart hurt a little. <laughs> That's not it. Oh, honey, I thought you liked the Momonoki Man chocolate. No, I the told Momonoki you. The Momonoki Man chocolate. It's Odoroki Man. Oh, sorry. Your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. You're not just a dummy. You're a super dummy idiot. Oh, well, you're right, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'm a big dummy. I'll buy you a real Momonoki Man soon. Stupid! It's not Momonoki Man! It's Odoroki Man! After I yelled at her, Mom immediately went to buy me another chocolate. My dad came back from buying some ingredients at the same time, and they ran into each other. My dad really let me have it. How dare you speak to your mother like that? Because Mom is stupid! You're stupid to call your mother stupid! Your mother bought you that to make you happy. You need to think about how she feels. I didn't raise you like that. But, but... When she comes back, you apologize. Do you understand? My dad told me to apologize as soon as mom came back. But the guilt, I hurt my mother, you know? That guilt in my heart, it didn't go away. 
even after I apologized to her. After that, things got awkward with mom. But a few days later, my dad came up with an idea. Hey, Ota, how about this? You know Mother's Day is coming up. Why don't we get a gift for your mom, hmm? A gift? That was the first time I had ever heard my dad say something like that. You know how mom always takes care of us. We should think of a way to pay her back. I'm sure my dad was trying to clear the air between all of us. So, on Mother's Day, I used my New Year's money I saved up to buy my mom that flower knife. And my dad saved up a little money to buy the floral apron. And when mom got her gifts, she started bawling. Like, full-on crying. Oh, you boys. I don't deserve all this. Thank you, thank you. You do deserve it, Mom. I'm proud that you're my mom. Right, Dad? Oh, um, uh, yes. Mom is the best mom in the world. <laughs> thank you. Say cheese! Sorry, I lost track of time. What were we talking about again? The Odoroki Man chocolate. Why she bought the chocolate in the middle of tailing you. Tailing? Mom. It could be due to her memory disorder. It is possible that her thought process was once again short-circuited. Ota, I'm just going out on a limb here. Huh? Earlier I looked inside Mayumi's head. Inside her head? She was thinking of nothing but you. Her head was full of memories of you. Mayumi just wanted you to come back, Ota. So she bought that chocolate. The chocolate you loved as a kid. She thought she could get you back home with it. That's why I believe, in Mayumi's head, you're still young, Ota. I love how it just looks like a zombie Pikachu. I don't know. I could be wrong. No, you're right, Date. That's why my mom bought the chocolate. She wanted her little kid back. Let's talk to her. I'm sorry. Who are you again? Oh. I'm Date. I'm Ota's friend. Ota's friend? Is that right? I hope you two get along. Oh, Mom. What happens now? I was always so selfish. I made my mom go through such hard times. So from now on, I'm going to support her the way she supported me. I'll do anything. I'll deliver newspapers or be a janitor or anything. I'll work as hard as I can to make sure my mom can rest easy. What about your dream of being an author? Well, of course I'm not going to give up on that. But I'll set my sights a little smaller. I'll start by writing a short story. Let me there read you it go. when you're done. Of course. One last thing. Oh, I forgot to tell you something important. Something important? I heard the nurses talking before I came in here. Iris is awake. R really? Yeah, she's due to be transferred from the ICU to the general ward. Thank God. You saved her life, you know. Maybe, just maybe. Huh? Maybe what? <laughs> Nothing. See you, kid. My work here is done. I think yes, this is... Iris, your girlfriend. <laughs> Yeah, I'll introduce you next time. She's a great girl. Oh my, I'm Not looking forward to it. Is she going to be your financier? Oh, maybe I should clean up a bit first. Your financier? Financer? Oh, fiance. Uh. Oh yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> Jeez, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the new Cyclops killer is still on the loose, but like, this is a good ending. Date, there are 
there are still many loose ends in this investigation. This is definitely the yeah, first you're right. ending you should have gotten, technically, I think. <sighs> Looks like another all-nighter. See ya! Yeah, no, this is definitely the first ending you're supposed to get. We did it. Hey. So is this like the Ota ending? Oh shit, what? You say. Has there been any progress in this Jima investigation? None. Zero clue. Not exactly. Two? Two points of information. But they may not connect directly to the murders. What are the two clues? Point one. This may be easier to see than explain. I sent a video to the boss's PC. Could you check there, please? Boss went to her desk and moved her mouse. I stood next to her and looked at the monitor. What's this? It's from Sunday night. Yes. After Date was beaten by Ota at Matsushita Diner. Tessa, wait! Uh, I'll get the car. Uh huh. You wish! Did she did she think There, stop it. Did Mayumi think I noticed this earlier as well. Yeah, did my did Mayumi think Tessa beat uh hit Date with the walk? Maybe that's it. Do you see the walk on the floor beside Iris and Mayumi? Yeah, what about it? Look closely. The bottom part is curved. Do you notice anything in the reflection? Iris and Mayumi. Yes. I have prepared an enlarged and processed version of the image. Boss, the next video. This is what we want to see. You witch! You, you stay away from my boy! Did she put the knife to her eye? Tessa! <gasps> What's wrong? Did something happen? No, everything's fine. Tessa grabbed the knife. Okay, let's go. Ota. Why did Tessa grab the knife? I and mean, we know she's like afraid of like the fucking Nizalov or whatever. Hey, what's this? Iris has the kitchen knife? The video continues, but this should be enough. Iris took the knife and left the diner with Ota. But if Ota's testimony is true, the polar bear had the kitchen knife. Maybe it was taken off of Iris when she was kidnapped. At the Femisto parking lot? Whatever. We can think about it later. You said you had two clues. Yeah, what's the other one? I have learned new information. More thorough autopsy results of Renju's body have revealed something. An object in his intestines. An what? object? A clump of organic matter. Because it was partially digested, it took significant time to analyze. Well, what was it? Shoko Nadami's eyeball. Fuck. Well, that was, um, wow. Yep, we're gonna, we're gonna save. The fucking eyeball. I, honestly, for a second, I thought we were gonna see Iris dick the fucking, like, have Mayumi hold the knife and she's just gonna stick her eye. I mean... If she stuck, yeah, no, that wouldn't have made sense, right? Because then Ota would have seen her without the eyeball, and then she'd be like, what the fuck? But she did take the knife, which is really fucking odd. Alright. One more time. Alright, well, we'll start the next playthrough next time. Until then, I'll see you later.